Busy be the cloud, gonna count to three. Busy be the cloud, no you can't catch me. Throw me overboard to the deep dark sea. Busy be, busy be, one, two, three. A cruise ship glides through calm ocean waters lit magnificently by an afternoon sun, its decks alive with the soft chatter of passengers enjoying their vacations. Among them are two teenagers, Dylan and Mia. They had met on the first day of the cruise and quickly became friends, bonding over their shared sense of adventure. As they leaned against the railing on the upper deck, Dylan was laughing while shaking his head. No way, Mia, he said, grinning. I'm not going to do that. Mia, her eyes sparkling with mischief, pouted playfully. Oh, come on, Dylan, she teased. It'll be fun, a little thrill to remember this cruise by. Dylan hesitated, a cool breeze rustling his hair. He leaned closer to Mia, lowering his voice. Are you sure you want to mess with something like that? Mia giggled. It's just an old nursery rhyme, Dylan. What harm could it possibly do? Giving in to Mia's infectious enthusiasm, Dylan sighed and glanced around to make sure no one was listening. All right, fine, he said in his best pirate impersonation. I'm an adventurous lad. We'll do it for you old time's sake when we were younger and more adventurous. Mia laughed and gave a salute. They agreed to meet at the same spot later that night to recite the eerie nursery rhyme that had captured Mia's imagination. After the sun dipped below the horizon, Dylan and Mia made their way back to the promenade deck. The atmosphere had changed. It was now shrouded in an eerie stillness, the gentle creaking of the ship's hull the only sound that reached their ears. Beneath the light of a full moon, together they recited the ominous rhyme. Busy be the clown, the clown gonna, gonna count, count to three. three. Busy be, be the, clown. the clown, no, no you can't, can't catch me. me. Throw, Throw me overboard to the deep, deep dark, dark sea. sea. Busy be, busy, busy be, one, two, three. Dylan and Mia laughed nervously when they finished, as nothing happened, and they exchanged relieved glances. See, Dylan? Mia said with a grin. It's just a silly story. Just as they were about to turn and leave, a cold breeze swept across the deck. The air grew heavy and the temperature dropped. Panic began to claw at their hearts. Out of nowhere, a voice whispered in the darkness, a voice that sent shivers down their spines. You summoned me. They spun around to see a figure materializing before them. It was a man, clown-like and demonic. His eyes hollow voids of darkness. He wore tattered, blood-stained rags, and his lips stretched into a strained grimace. Dylan and Mia screamed, their voices echoing through the deserted deck. They stumbled back, their hearts pounding as they realized they had awakened something ancient and malevolent. Busy Bee the Clown pointed a bony finger at them, and they were frozen in terror. You called, and I have come, he hissed. And now you shall pay the price. In an instant, the malevolent clown lunged at them with uncanny speed, his grip icy and unrelenting. With an otherworldly strength, he hoisted them over the railing. Their screams pierced the night as they plummeted into the dark, churning waters below. The laughter of the clown followed them into the depths, mingling with the desperate cries of two teenagers who had dared to invoke the curse of the pirate jester. As the cruise ship sailed on, the moonlight casted an eerie glow onto the water, and Busy Bee, forever waiting for another opportunity to punish anyone who dare tempt fate on his high Caribbean seas. <laughs>